Hey, my name is Zuzu, aka Joe. Um, so, let's talk about life or living life with pre-diabetes. Um, it's a scary thought because diabetes is a very scary, chronic illness. Um, you know, something just as little bit of a fry or a piece of bread can spike your sugars up and potentially cause you to go to um, a diabetic coma if you're not under control or stable with what you're consuming. Mostly it's carbohydrates. Sugars do affect, but mostly carbs. Um, it's kind of scary, but I've been doing a lot of research. Um, there's weeks where my blood sugars are elevated. There's weeks where it's perfectly normal, and there's a lot of things that are happening. I don't want to discuss everything about what's going on with me because it's a lot of information because I'm a hypochondriac. Plus, if you look on my fingertips, they're all pricked from checking my glucose all the damn time because I'm so hypochondriac about, you know, becoming type 2 diabetes. But here are some tricks that I learned this past week, and it has helped me tremendously. Now, of course, you know, low-fat dairy, um, low carbs, low sugar, um, all that stuff. Those are all normal. Exercise, drinking lots of water, so forth. Um, but I've always been the type that intermittent, did intermittent fasting. Um, sometimes I fasted way too long because when I was doing Invisalign, I would go like 22 to 23 hours fasting. No good. Um, it's 12 to 16 hours. Give yourself um, an 8 to 10 hour window for eating, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Uh, of course, not eating before going to bed. Guilty of that. I do that. Um, but I followed someone and this person said every day, just hop in the shower and give yourself a cold shower. Start off with three seconds and work your way up as long as you could. I've been doing this. And I'm a person who is in make so my hands are always cold and stuff like that. I've been doing this, but you know what? It's been helping me so much with my inflammation in my knees and my foot and all over my body. But it's also regulated my glucose, which is amazing. And there's people have who have been saying that their A1C has dropped from like... 5.9 to 5.3 within a month to, th to three months. I've also watched videos that break down everything and how people develop pre-diabetes and develops into type 2 diabetes. And um, one of the main causes of it is inflammation. Inflammation can stress your body to the point where your body will develop into type 2 diabetes if you don't get inflammation under control. So try the cold water um, shower first and see. I'm going to make another video about how I've been trying to manage it and how I work with it. But this is just the information I want to relate first.